finished up our um, lake bed aeration install. So we've installed three aerating discs. Uh, we've got one just out here, if we can get a zoom in on that. Um, this location is pretty shallow, uh, so we've had to pick a few little deep spots. So typically you'd have them in the centre, however, this is a little deep spot in, in this uh, particular lake, so uh, that's why we've positioned them there. We've got another one just off. Uh, we've got a bridge in the middle, so we've got one on the right side, one on the left side. Uh, so that's kind of like an aesthetic thing as well. It looks a bit nice as you're walking up to it. Uh, we've got a compressor here. Um, so that's all cranking away. Uh, we've got some valves here that we can play uh, with the air pressure. So typically one, one disc might have a little bit more than the other, so uh, we can come through and calibrate it. So really quite simple. Um, airlines are nice and neatly buried. So you can see them come out the bottom here and then they just go their separate ways so one line to each disc all right so this is an example of one of our air discs nice and close up um, so what you can see it's doing it's putting out micro bubbles into the water column um, you get a nice bit of rippling on the surface um, which is going to help in oxygen exchange uh, but more importantly what it's doing because it's sitting down in a deep spot as that air is rising going to be pulling up water right from the bottom water column all the way to the top so you get this big sort of washing machine uh, effect underwater. So from the surface they, they may not look you know as spectacular as a fountain uh, but what they're doing is, is, is helping that bottom water quality uh, improve whereas maybe a top fountain wouldn't. So a um, really really good addition to your fish pond. Uh, it's going to help the, the, the ecosystem of this whole area just from a few, few little air stations.